Hello viewers, today let us see how ecology influences development. In this chapter, we are going to see various issues related with ecology. We are going to see what is ecology first and we are going to see the various theories or put forward by ecological psychologists in order to understand human behavior within the context of the environment. To begin with, what is ecology? Ecology is the study of interrelationships between living things and their non-living environment. So, actually the environment consists of two components. One is the abiotic component and the second one is the biotic component. Abiotic component consists of all the non-living things uh, like the soil, on earth, water, air and other things. But whereas biotic component uh, consists of all the living things on this earth like animals, plants, birds and so on. So, in ecological psychology, they try to understand how the biotic system has an influence on the non-biotic or abiotic system and how the abiotic in fact uh, tries to influence the biotic component. Ecology can actually be studied at various organization levels. Level 1 is population, the second level is communities, third is ecosystems and it can also be studied with respect to the biosphere. Populations means all members of a single species living in a given time and place and under ecosystem comes all the interacting populations in a given time and space. So, in populations we will be only dealing with that particular population, but in ecosystem all the various populations that are interacting with each other will be considered at one point of time. And going on to communities, communities is another ecosystem uh, where all the organisms and their non-living environment uh, in a defined area is considered as a community. So, all the organizations and their non-living environment comes under what we call as community. Going on to biosphere, here in biosphere all life on earth comes into consideration. So, ecology is studied from all these different organizational perspectives. The basic idea is uh, why or how ecology has developed is as a reaction to uh, psychological theories where psychologists try to emphasize or overemphasize according to them uh, on the individual. And ecology has also been developed in environmental psychology as a reaction to sociologists who also place lot of emphasis on the individual although they are studying the whole social context. So, as a response to that ecology today considers the interaction between both the individuals and also the environment. So, ecology let us uh, see how this perspective affects the development. So, development within the context of ecology is considered as the person's ability to, to develop a concept of his ecological environment and the kind of relationship that this person has with that ecological environment and apart from that this person's ability to sustain to alter that environment. And, uh, Ecological psychologists also talk about what they call as ecological identity. 
Ecological identity refers to all the different ways people construed themselves in relationship to the earth as manifested in their personality, in their values, in their self-esteem, in their beliefs, so on and so forth. According to Thomas Shaw, the interpretation of life experiences uh, transcends social and cultural interactions in ecological identity. It also includes a person's uh, connection to earth, perception of the ecosystem and also direct experience of nature. Apart from that, uh, Chavla and others have pointed out that ecological identity also includes children's contact with nature through tending gardens, playing in parks and also being in spaces with trees which is seen as significant predictors of positive adult beliefs about the benefits of nature. So, in ecology and its impact on development, uh, here the all the theories are framed in such a manner that it is not only the individual who is given importance, but the individual is given value in the context of the environment. Now, let us see how development is viewed in ecology. Many of the explanations in ecology regarding the development of the individual are based on what they call as boundaries. So, from childhood to adulthood, beginning in childhood, the boundary around the person is just the family or it is only with the family that the person is interacting with. But as the child grows up, the child is exposed to the school environment. So, now his boundary not only includes the family, but also the school. As a child enters college, there are more and more aspects of the social world that the child or the adolescent is interacting with and all that is going to have an impact on the development of this individual. And when as the child grows further and when the child enters or adolescent enters the state of adulthood, then even more boundaries are added like the general cultural boundaries, religious boundaries and also the state or region in which the person is living starts to have an impact. During childhood, the country is uh, not having the any kind of direct impact on the child, but as a person grows up, the state in which the person is growing up and also the country in which the person is growing up starts to interact with the person in more direct ways and affects the development of the individual. So, apart from this, there will be a point of time, the whole environment or rather the whole world starts to have an uh, influence on the development of the individual more so today in this uh, what we call as a world becoming a small village. Because of the rapid expansion of uh, scientific and technological innovations uh, today we are exposed to events and happenings that happen in uh, far away places and we are also trying to interact with uh, people from very far regions. So, that is why the boundaries are expanding, ever expanding in the present day context compared with earlier uh, generations. So, the impact on development is also going to change and uh, in these uh, the conception of development according to ecological model has uh, several layers or several boundaries in it. Let us uh, understand more about the conceptual model of development according to ecology uh, by looking at in this slide, uh, you can see that the child is in center of this uh, figure and there are so many boundaries around this child. The first one is uh, the family or which is called as micro system and uh, this micro system which includes family, community, then uh, religious groups 
and also the school and uh, child care and other uh, systems that the child is going to interact with form the micro system and the individual's personality and uh, attitudes and also the cultural kind of training all this happens within this micro system but gradually these boundaries begin adding up what we call as meso system adds on to the micro system as the child grows up and it uh, the next the exo system also has an impact which consists of friends neighbors the legal services such uh, diverse uh, areas like social services and also mass media all this is also going to have an impact but it is not within the immediate uh, boundary but at a farther uh, uh, space from the individual because the influence is also going to be not direct but indirect influence will be there on the individual so after exo system it is a macro system that they project uh, and also they talk about chrono system which means uh, patterning of environmental events and uh, transitions over the child's uh, life courses so chrono system more or less represents the development in various periods of time which also includes the various kinds of uh, systems uh, that uh, impact on the individual let us go into the details of these various systems micro system what do they mean within this system the student or child has direct interaction with parents teachers peers and others say in the immediate family members other family members like siblings and also grandparents so meso system consists of the influences that these people have on the child going on to meso system this system involves linkages between micro systems such as family and school and relationship between the child and peers so it is going to have an interactive effect between the child and, micro and the micro system so that is called as the meso system coming on to exo system this system works when settings in which the child does not have an active role influences the students experiences that is indirect uh, aspects in the environment uh, uh, when they have an impact on the child uh, that is when the exo system has come into effect for example because of certain uh, say there is sudden war and because of that war there are the depletion in uh, resources and the child doesn't uh, get to enjoy outings or doesn't have uh, any holidays outside the home because of the war condition or because of the war condition uh, there are lesser food resources that are available so the child gets to eat less uh, food and also low quality food and the child's uh, school for example has been closed for a long period of time because of uh, war is something that is not directly uh, in the life of the child but because of the war condition and the changes that it brings uh, is affecting the child's life so that comes under what we call as exo system or the cultural influences or religious beliefs certain religious beliefs impacting on the child all come under exo system going on to macro system this system involves the broader culture in which students and teachers live so culture culture and such things come under macro system and uh, certainly culture has an impact on the personality attitudes and values of the child but however it is uh, n- does not have an immediate effect on the child but however it certainly has a very uh, important uh, influence on development mostly culture influences through parents through teachers and through other systems that are more closer to the child 
Going on to the last one that is the chronosystem, it is the socio-historical conditions of a student's development. So, what kind of changes are there in the society at that time when this child is leading its life? So, previous example declaring of war, not all uh, people during their childhood faced war. It might be only that certain uh, generation or group of people or group of children have to be exposed to war. So, that is comes under chrono system because at that period of time when they are uh, children, though that year particular year there is a war. So, that comes under chrono system because it certainly is a social, socio historical condition. So, all these uh, systems the micro system, the meso system, the exo system, macro system and the chrono system are going to have an impact on the development of the child. So, you can see in this ecology model all aspects of the child are considered by trying to understand what are the influences on development. Certainly, it is a development over what psychologists try to understand about the individual and also what social sociologists try to understand the about the individual and also what other behavioral scientists try to understand about the world because here in this model we have seen an all inclusive uh, effects on the individual. But well, how uh, proceeding further into trying to understand which system has what kind of an effect, theoretically this model is uh, very rich, but how far uh, we, are, we will be able to uh, make meaningful conclusions about it or how far we are going to make meaningful predictions uh, and generalizations from this uh, theory remains to be seen. However, parents and teachers are actively trying to understand today to identify what helps the child's growth and what hampers the development of children keeping in mind all these different systems. So, today the understanding of development is holistic rather than in a piece million fashion. Let us see each of these systems in more detail and discuss how they are going to impact development. Let us begin with the micro system. In the micro system, it is especially the interaction that the child will have with the parents. So, we have seen the influence that caregivers have or the impact that caregivers have on development of the child. Especially, Bowley has pointed out that uh, if the uh, caregiver or the parent, either of them, if they uh, show a lot of love and affection towards the child, uh, then the child is going to develop in a proper manner by developing required amounts of self-esteem, developing trust uh, so that the child is able to feel that the caregiver is loving and affectionate and when in times of need the child can look to the caregiver for support and uh, security. So, at the micro system uh, it is very very important that uh, things happen properly because psychologists have uh, emphasize time and again that childhood experiences are going to have an impact on the overall development of the person. So, if the everything goes as planned and if the in the micro system the parents and other close family members react positively and help in the proper training and development of the child, then the child will develop in the right manner. Otherwise, it might lead to some dysfunctions. Dysfunction happens when the child is not trained properly or is not trained at all in a particular important life skill. So, dysfunction happens when um, things 
do not happen properly or things do not go properly in the micro system level. So, if dysfunction happens then the child's personality and development is going to be affected ad adversely. On the other hand, if everything goes well in the micro system, the child is had enough exposure with all the influential members, the child is positively regarded by the members in the micro system, then the child is going to be developing what we call as competence. So, in competence, uh, it includes acquisition and development of knowledge, skill or abilities that are going to help the child to learn things at school, to master many skills in his life and to achieve success in his or her life. So, at the micro system level, it has a such an influence that uh, a, if everything goes on properly, then the child is going to become competent, otherwise the child is going to become dysfunctional. Because uh, dysfunction is happening, ecologists have tried to understand why it has occurred, what are the causes for this dysfunction and they term as what they call as proximal processes. So, is there some interruption in the proximal process that has led to this dysfunction is the question that they attempt to answer and according to them there are many variables that are going to have an effect on the proximal process like the intensity like how deeply is the distraction or the duration to what extent there is this disruption in their proximal process that has led to the dysfunction and they are also going to see the timing that is during what age or what period of development did this disruption take place for example if for some reason the child has been hospitalized just before the child is learning or the baby is learning to walk and stand. Because of that period of hospitalization and or illness, the child may not have uh, developed uh, walking skills on time. So, the point or the time during which this disruption in the proximal process has happened is also going to have an influence on the development of the child. Apart from that, other issues that they try to uh, understand is the frequency that is how often is the child uh, exposed to these factors that are disruptive uh, or that have had a negative influence on development. So, how frequently is it? For example, the same uh, taking the same case, how frequently has the child been hospitalized? Certainly, the frequency if the frequency is more then naturally the child is not uh, given an opportunity to learn all the required skills uh, and attain competency and because of that reason it is going to result in uh, what they call as dysfunction. Now, let us see how the exosystem and what happens during the exosystem is going to have an effect on the development. So, exosystem includes uh, the surroundings of the child say the friends for example. So, if the child is exposed to enough friendships then only the child is going to learn what we call as social skills that are very important for the growth and development of the child. And the child is also going to learn some communicative skills which are so very essential for any success in any kind of uh, job later or even to have a successful and meaningful relationship in life. So, if the child for some reason is not uh, given an opportunity to interact with uh, 
peers of his age or some friends is not for some reason sent to an educational institution then certainly there is going to be an uh, impact on the proper development of the child. So, certainly the exosystem is going to have an impact on the child if it is not properly if the situation is not uh, helpful for proper growth of the child then certainly development is hampered. Going on to the next system that is the macro system here uh, the other environmental conditions are going to have an impact on the development of the child. Uh, for example, the office uh, situation or the work situation of the parent. So, if the because of uh, the job requirements, if suppose the parent has to be absent from home for prolonged duration and also for long periods of time and frequently, then also it is going to have an impact on the proper development of the child. And also because of certain cultural practices, say for example, the child is uh, not sent to school or the child is uh, not allowed to have uh, uh, social interaction with others or the child because of some cultural or religious restrictions uh, on part of the parents is not able to lead a happy and healthy childhood because uh, childhood requires a lot of uh, joy and enjoyment and uh, social interaction with others. If that is not provided, then it is going to hamper uh, the adult functioning of the child. Similarly, the chrono system also is going to have an impact as we have discussed earlier, if there is a war that is going to affect the individual. So, now let us see how these ecologists try to uh, help people when there is some kind of disruptive uh, development in their behavior. So, uh, they try to understand the behavioral problems in context uh, with the other systems that are uh, existing around the individual. For example, if the child is or if the adult is not able to have uh, meaningful sustaining relationships, uh, then these ecological psychologists, they try to analyze uh, the from the level of the micro system of this person. So, they are going to go back to the childhood and explore the impact of the micro system on, the, on this person. They are going to analyze the kind of relationship that this person had with their parents. They are going to analyze what kind of relationship that they had or what kind of exposure that this person has with their friends, so on and so forth. So, here behavior is uh, modified uh, keeping in view all the conditions that are going to have an impact on the development of the child.